Hello everyone, I'm gonna give you a short overview about my build and we'll get into details later. This build is a balanced build for world v world that fits in any situation. You're ready for anything, fighting a zerg, roaming, one versus one, and you can escape in most situations. For people who love Condi Ranger but found that it's good only for roaming, well, I chose to try my best and come up with this build. I can tell you it's a decent build. I have no problem fighting even numbers, and sometimes can be outnumbered by a little. The build that's tough to kill for us would be warriors with lots of stability and immobilites clear since we focus on burning entangled foes. Here are my traits. As you can see, first line is a skirmishing. We choose trapper's expertise because we're gonna use two trap skills. This trait would increase regeneration and bleeding duration and add creeping effect to traps. Next is hidden bobs because you have lots of bleeding skills. The last one is quick draw for more frequent use on bonfire and ancestral grace or sublime conversion. For the next line, Wilderness Survival, we choose Oak Heart South. Since we've got perma permanent regeneration, if you stay in Healing Spring for a long time, so permanent 5% damage reduction also. Shared Anguish, this skill, this trait is very nice for preventing enemies combo and increase your sustainability in terms of stun breaker which I'm sure better than this trait and the dexterity and lastly empathic bond that helps a lot with Condi clear the last line is druid you choose druid druidic clarity and celestial shadows these two traits it's amazing if you can turn into celestial avatar every 15 seconds, which I will show you how later. And the last one, this one is the most important trait for, my, for this build, Ancient Seeds. These apply root to stun, knock down, knock back, or dazed fall when we attack. This trait can apply up, up to at least 5 targets if you attack them at once. The best way I've found so far is to use with of Equality and swap to Weapon with Sigil of Geomancer. This would attack and apply bleeding in 240 AoE. I say it's the best way because it's fast. Cliff of Equality has no testing time. Also the weapon swap. From my experience, people usually dodge after they are dazed by Cliff of Equality. So auto attack would be too slow in that case. So I always use the Cliff and swap weapon right after when I'm on stat. This is essential combo on my build that I use to initiate fights. Now let's move to the equipment. You could get either Dire or Trailblazer stats because this build focuses on condition damage. And power wouldn't do much good for the build. So toughness and vitality is preferable. Healing power wouldn't do wouldn't be worth it because the scaling is low for Ranger. If you don't stay in Celestial Avatar form long enough, which I found that it's not a good choice when you are being targeted. For the runes, 
we use six runes of the trappers which give us decent condition damage stealth and super speed after using trap skills allow you to engage disengage and get loose from enemies attention better for the sigils sigil of dice on staff to slow fall down since you don't do much damage on staff sigil of geomancer on either axe or touch as i said before that is a path of combo for applying ancient seeds trait in aoe and sigil of energy on both weapon sets for extra dodge when you swap weapons turning into celestial avatar also counts as weapon swap most of the time when you break stuns by the avatar skill you also need to dodge whatever combo they are dropping on you for weapons it's clear that axe and torch is for condition damage and AOE condition damage this one Staff is for mobility, healing, and blocking projectiles, which might sound weird because staff damage comes from power stats, but we really need this for mobility to engage and disengage. One tip is you should try to stay in your healing spring, this one and bonfire to get burning effect for projectile finisher for the skills we use healing spring for stealth and descent amount of healing if you stay in it we'll need extra heal from celestial avatar sometimes and this build is good at getting away from combat that's the best way to heal also. Cliff of Equality for Breaking Stuns and Ancient Seeds AoE. The trait that we mentioned before. Signet of the Hunt for increased movement speed. Which I found is more important than we think. Spike Trap for disabling people. Use it on immobilized hole to make sure that it hits because it's unblockable and immobilized hole cannot dodge. Launch effect from this skill also is also for ancient seed straight. And lastly, entangle, which is the most powerful skill for party ranger that can get people in 600 AOE. For the pets, we use smoke scale and electric wyvern for extra CC. This one is knocked down with low cooldown. And I chose you. This one, which we can activate, and this one that. It does on its own on its own. This to make sure that we can entangle enemy and burn them. I'm gonna show you combo for initiation. First, you leap in with ancestral grace, followed by cliff of equality, and then you swap weapon. To get the Geomancer Sigil effect, this should entangle some enemies and you can put Spike Trap under them. If you miss, you still have Entangle to chase them down. Okay, I will show you now. You see the Entangle and Entangle again. So you can get at most 10 enemies in one combo. Next let's show you how to get enough Astral Force 
for Celestial Avatar every 15 seconds. The key is to use food that regenerates HP every second. Peach pie, for example, this one, which costs only 5 coppers in trading post. Each time it regenerates HP, Astro Force will be charged by 1.5%. This would be enough if you don't stay in avatar form for long. I will show you how. As you can see. Like that. And that's all about this build. Oh, and one last tip. Remember to get enough astral force before entering fights. You can do just like what I did a moment ago. So let's see the gameplay guys. Hope you enjoy it. Let's go.